Hello everyone. So this is a short video to use GPG to encrypt a message using a public key. So both parties have already created their own public-private key pair and you can look at the previous video to see how to do that. But they already have their keys and now they want to exchange um, an encrypted message. So the first thing we have to do, so let, let's have a look at what I've got here. So on the left hand, on the right hand side, you see Sue. So Sue has generated her pu her public private key pair, and she used this email, and she shared her public key. She put it in temp, and if we look here, we have Sue's GPG key is in temp, so that anyone on this system can just read it from temp and use it. So she she has given that made it available, and so people can send her. Uh, encrypted messages. So Max, who works on the same computer, wants to send um, a, an encrypted message to Sue. So what Max did was he set up his public key and private key pair and using his email address, and we can see it here through the fingerprint, and created this message file, which is just a te text message. So message for sue.txt, it's just a text message. And, but he, he wants it to be secure. He doesn't want anybody to see it. So what Max needs to do is to import the key, the public key for Sue in order to use it. So he knows it's in temp, so he takes a copy. There we go. So it belongs to Max now because he took a copy of it. So he needs to import it into his key ring. So that's pretty simple. It's gpg dash dash import and then the name of the key. So it looks like it's imported okay, but we and it says it's the public key, which is right. We don't ever want to give away our, our private key. So let's see what the fingerprint says for now. So fingerprint and list keys give you the same results as far as I can tell. So here you see we've got a Max original public private key pair and we have the private key, sorry, the public key for Sue. So we have Sue's public key. So <clears throat> now that we have the now that Max has this key, um, he can also sign it. So let's have Max sign the key. The signing is not strictly necessary, but um, it's probably a good extra step. So let's have him sign the key. So he has to use the email that's inside the key, which is Sue dot black at whoops to identify the key. So what uh, he has done now is uh, signed this key. It's owned by Susan Black, um, created on 0218, expires in 2023. Uh, we really want to sign it, yes. So now I have to unlock my own key ring. So Max has to use his passphrase. He'll never know Sue's passphrase, but in order to, my key ring is also secured. So let's do that. And now it's signed. So let's see what the fingerprint looks like. So now it's, it was unknown before, now it's fully signed. So as I said, it's not strictly necessary, and I'll explain the reasons uh, about that uh, in, a little later. But now that Max has the public key and it's signed, Max can use it to create a message, uh, a sec so to encrypt a message for Sue. So let's do that. So now that I've done, now that I've imported the key, um, I don't ever have to import it again. I can send thousands of messages until that key is revoked. So right now what I want to do is to um, to encrypt my message. So let's uh, encrypt my message. So remember that it's in uh, cat message, message for Sue. So I want to encrypt it. So I use the GPG command. And I use the email that's inside the key. So Sue's email, whoops. So this is a way for looking up, the, the email is a way to tag the key for looking up the key. It's not really used per se t to send emails, but it's a way to tag the key and be able to retrieve it from the key ring. And then I want to encrypt. 
my message. So unlike uh, CC Crypt, it will not clobber the original message. So I have both the original message. Let's just pull this over a little bit. I have the original message, message for Sue, and I have the encrypted message. Notice it got bigger. So now I can give Sue this message, and Sue will be able to extract it and read it, but only Sue, nobody else. So I'm going to copy it. Because we're both on the same system, I'm going to copy it to temp, and Sue can retrieve it from there. So let's see how Sue decrypts the message. So let's go over to Sue. So Max is done. He tells he phones Sue and says, um, I sent you an encrypted message. Please retrieve it. So it's safe there because nobody, every, even though there's lots of other users on this system, none of them have Sue's private key. And that was signed. So the, one, the message that, Sue, that Max sent was signed with Sue's private key. So that she, sorry, Sue's public key. So Sue's public key, the message was signed with that and encrypted with that, so that Sue can use the opposite of the pair, the private key, to decrypt it. So Sue will take a copy of that. Temp. Since they're both on the same system, they can exchange information that. Oops. Oh, I copied the wrong one over. Boy, I really messed up my uh, security there. I have to delete that. Hopefully nobody picked it up in the meantime. I, what I need to do is copy over the encrypted message. So let's see what... <clears throat> so this is a text message, and this is an encrypted message. So now we're going to get a copy of that. And it's that same encrypted message. So now I need to de decrypt it. I can do that because I have my my public key. So it was signed with so a public and private key. It was signed with my public key by Max. So I can decrypt it with my private key. So GPG. So I'm just calling it message from Maxed. The actual file is message for Sue GPG. So I need to now use my passphrase. So it says the passphrase to unlock, unlock my with my secret key. So I put in mine. Oops, I mistyped it. And there we go. It decrypted it. So there I have my message from Max. So what did Max say? I always have to bring the whiskey. Why couldn't Max bring the whiskey once in a while? So what we've done is Max signed it with my public. I gave Max my public key. Max imported and signed my public key. So, And then Max uh, encrypted the message with my public key. And he gave me access to the message. And I decrypted it. Sue decrypted it with her private key. There we go.